angles topics covered angle comparison of angles measuring an angle classification of angles pairs of related angles supplementary angles drawing angles angle an angle is a figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point the two rays are called the arms or side of the angle the common end point is called the vertex of the angle naming an angle to name any angle we name any point on one ray and follow the following steps step 1 an angle is written using the symbol of angle so this is the symbol it is written before the name of the angle step 2 the common point or vertex is written in the middle step 3 the other two points of rays are written on either side of the common vertex therefore the name of the angle drawn can be written as angle poq or angle qop interior and exterior of an angle the inside of an angle that is the region between the rays is called the interior of the angle point p is in the interior of angle abc points a b c d and e are on the arms also called sides of the angle the points of the plane that do not lie on the arms or in the interior of the angle are in the exterior of the angle the points q and r are in the exterior of angle abc comparison of angles we can easily compare the two angles angle abc and angle pqr by comparing the expansion of the sides of the given angles here for comparing two angles we follow the following steps step 1 draw an angle abc on a sheet of paper step 2 place angle abc over angle pqr so that b falls on q and arm bc falls on qr step 3 the arm ab falls on arm pq we can say that angle pqr is smaller than angle abc step 4 again a lies in the exterior of angle rqp clearly angle cba is greater than angle rqp that is angle abc is greater than angle pqr activity compare the given two angles let angle abc and angle def be two angles given here we compare them by using the following procedure Step 1 trace angle ABC on a piece of paper. Step 2 place the tracing of angle DEF on angle ABC such that D falls on A and ray DE falls on ray AB as shown in the figure. We observe that D lies in the exterior of angle ABC. Therefore angle DEF is greater than angle ABC. However, this method is practically difficult. To overcome this difficulty, we need to measure the angles exactly. Measuring an angle. Measuring an angle is to know the exact gap between two arms of an angle. It can be measured with the help of an instrument called protractor. Protractor. A protractor is an instrument which is used to measure an angle. It looks like the shape of English alphabet. A protractor has a horizontal line at the straight edge of the protractor. It has two scales, one inner scale and another outer scale, along the curved edge showing 180 degrees even divisions. The outer scale increases from left to right, the inner scale increases from right to left. The line joining the center of the horizontal line to the 90 degrees division 
divides the protractor into two halves vertically. The angle is measured in degrees, that is, the unit of angle is degrees and its symbol is this. Angle measuring 90 degrees can be written as 90 degree. Example, find the measure of angle AOB. Solution, to measure angle AOB, we follow the below steps. Step 1. Place the baseline of protractor on the arm OB of the angle. Step 2. The center point of the protractor should be on the vertex O. Step 3. 0 degree of the inner scale should be on OB. Step 4. Measure the angle AOB where the arm OA crosses the scale of the protractor. Therefore, Measure of angle, angle AOB is equal to 60 or 60 degrees. Example, find the measure of angle POR. Solution, to measure angle POR, we follow the below steps. Step 1, place the baseline of protractor on the arm PO of the angle. Step 2, the center point of protractor should be on the vertex O. Step 3. 0 degrees of the outer scale should be on PO. Step 4. Measure the angle POR where the arm RO crosses the scale of the protractor. Therefore, the measure of angle POR is equal to 130 or Angle POR is equal to 130 degrees. Classification of angles On the basis of measurement of angles, they can be classified into the following type. Acute angle An angle whose measure is more than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. In the given figure, angle POQ is equal to 45 degrees which is less than 90 degrees, therefore, angle POQ is an acute angle. Right angle An angle whose measure is 90 degrees is called a right angle. In the given figure, angle AOB is equal to 90 degrees, therefore, angle AOB is a right angle. Obtuse angle An angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. In the given figure, angle LOM is equal to 110 degrees. Clearly, it is more than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. Therefore, angle LOM is an obtuse angle. Straight angle an angle whose measure is 180 degrees is called a straight angle. In the given figure, angle ROS is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle ROS is a straight angle. Reflex angle An angle whose measure is more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees is called a reflex angle. In the given figure, Angle MON is equal to 230 degrees. Therefore, angle MON is a reflex angle. Complete angle An angle of measure 360 degrees is called a complete angle. In the given figure, angle STR is equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, angle STR is a complete angle. Zero angle an angle of measure 0 degrees is called a zero angle. It is formed when two arms of an angle overlap each other. In the given figure, angle AOB is equal to zero degrees. Therefore, angle AOB is a zero angle. Pairs of related angles Complementary angles Two angles are said to be complementary angles if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Complementary angles need not be adjacent. It is only the sum of their measures. 
For example, an angle of 50 degrees is complementary to another angle of measure 40 degrees. Each angle is said to be the complement of the other. Example, find the complement of an angle of 54 degrees. Solution, complement of 54 degrees is equal to 90 degrees minus 54 which is equal to 36 degrees. Hence, the complement of 54 degrees is 36 degrees. Example, 35 degrees and 55 degrees form a pair of complementary angles. Is this statement true? Give reason. Solution, yes, the statement is true because 35 degrees plus 55 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. And two angles are said to be complementary if the sum of their measures is 90 degrees. Supplementary angles. Two angles are said to be supplementary angles if the sum of their measure is 180 degrees. For example, the two angles measuring 120 degrees and 60 degrees are supplementary to each other. Each angle is said to be the supplement of the other. Example, find the supplement of an angle 62 degrees. Supplement of 62 degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 62 degrees is equal to 118 degrees. Hence, the supplement of 62 degrees is 118 degrees. Drawing angles. Example, draw an angle of 80 degrees using ruler and protractor. To draw angle that measures 80 degrees, we follow the following steps. Step 1. Draw a ray OA. Step 2. Place a protractor such that its center mark may fall at O, the end point of the ray. The end point O of the ray will be the vertex of an angle. Step 3. With the help of the scale, the ray OA aligns with 0 degrees. Mark the point on 80 degrees. Label the point B. Step 4. Remove the protractor. Join AOB. The required angle is AOB. Activity. Sometimes we have to construct an angle on a given ray. In this, the ray may be given in any of the positions seen below. You can see AB, CD, EF, GH. For this, we remember two things. Position the protractor with its central point on the initial point of the ray. Always, we read the protractor from the side towards which the arrow mark of the ray points. Thus, in the above positions, the protractor shall be placed and the readings taken in the direction as shown. In the first one, from P. In the second one, from R. In the third one, from E and in the fourth one, it is from Y.